In this video, we're going to look at the uh, M300 and its uh, weather capabilities and really show uh, how it can handle rough weather conditions and how we as professional RPAS pilots must be really uh, prepared to face weather, especially here on BC's west coast where we have uh, very inclement weather and unstable weather conditions. It might be sunny one moment and then cloudy the next. And so we have to be very well versed in meteorology to be able to forecast the kind of weather we're going into uh, at any given time as well. And in this mission, we'll just show how the weather gradually deteriorated. Here we can see it's about 14 miles an hour out of the southwest uh, on this mission. And the pilot flying um, interrupts autopilot here and takes manual control, which is so important for any drone pilot to be able to do. And it does represent challenges. It's uh, here there's a crosswind. Um, there are power lines in the way. You have the computer trying to interrupt at times. Uh, even though there is a low battery with um, a, a bit of an imbalance on the decharging rates of the battery, which was a bit of a concern to the pilot flying um, in the red there at the top right. And uh, dealing with turbulence and a bit of wind gust right here on touchdown and uh, settle it down there. And there you have to make a decision. Do I do the next leg? Uh, and in this case, uh, we decided to proceed with the next leg. And as you can see, like real by then we had, we were in heavy rain showers and winds gusting to 25 and even close to 30. And there we can see it steady at about 23 to 25 knots uh, in rain. And, um, you know, you're looking at the radar wondering, you know, when this is going to stop or how bad it's going to get to do maybe an abort of the mission right in the middle of a mission. Just our luck, right? Uh, you get this kind of a weather system. Um, now, it's important to say that this drone is certified for rain. That was the only reason we proceeded with this flight and this kind of weather. Like this was really marginal weather. Um, and it's certified to fly in the rain and up to 30 mile per hour winds. And so we're right pushing the threshold. I, in fact, I actually saw it get right up to 30 at one point uh, during this mission. And as you're going through, again, we see a bit of an imbalance in the decharge rate of both the batteries as it approaches about 15%, trying to put a nice deep cycle on the battery. And this mission was very time consuming capturing photogrammetry images uh, as we can see at the bottom right rapid smart oblique mode photos and so as it continues we're just monitoring the camera shots as well making sure that they are good quality and they're not distorting because of the rain which was a concern as well and there we have winds come up to 27 again computer giving you um, options to cancel the missing but we continue to proceed through uh, as far as we can to get a healthy D-cycle uh, on the LiPo batteries. Again, running into turbulence, uh, pilot flying takes manual control. Um, a auto return would take much more time and uh, be much more slower and potentially uh, cause issues, especially in these kind of weather conditions. So the pilot has to just fly and navigate the drone back or you go crabbing into that wind a little bit. You can see it rolling into the wind as it goes to its home location. We have a visual on it. And uh, as it approaches this area of landing, as you can see around wires and some other uh, obstacles. And this is where, again, you need to just really know your coordination. The aircraft's trying to move around. It's trying to bounce around. And so the pilot flying here is really getting a hold of it manually, keeping it safe and maneuvering it into position uh, for landing. And as you can see, still wind 16 miles an hour right there as uh, he descends and brings it into the safe landing area and puts it down. So again, this is the kind of stuff that you can run into uh, when you're flying drones. Like it's, uh, it takes a lot of skill, it takes training. It's a very serious uh, business. Um, that LiDAR payload that you see before you there is about a seventy to $80,000 piece of equipment um, where uh, insurance will only cover so much depending on your plan. So 
it's very serious. Uh, we take this business very serious and our jobs very seriously. Thanks for joining us. And if you would like to learn more about our drone services, please contact us at the link below.